you have had questions on how to do a pull up uh, or pull down using your back muscles in a overhead position, using your booty kicker bar or your squat rack with a barbell across. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few options for you. So I'm intentionally going to face away, but one option, setting your bar at a certain height where you can have your hands wide, think 10 and two, uh, head right underneath of the bar, hips extended back, so not tucked under in a little ball. And then I'm gonna have my knees bent and pretty wide. I'm gonna use my heels, hamstrings, to help assist in pulling up, pulling elbows in my side, and then using my hamstrings to help me focus on using my lats to come down. You have some options as far as holding for two at the top, being able to really feel your lat muscles and elbows pulling in by side. And then every time that my butt comes down, sometimes I like to do a little hand release just to reset my grip, just to give my fingers and my wrists a little bit of a break, allow me to reconnect with the lats and make sure that I'm not cheating too much and feeling it just in the hamstrings because you wanna feel it in the back. You can certainly do overhand, you can also do underhand. I personally like underhand, just, just like Arnold's, because it gets that deeper stretch into the lat. You can still get the same benefits of working the lats. Um, so as always, it's all about angles. So you can still be right underneath of the bar and just use those hamstrings to help pull chin up over the bar and then hand release if you want. Same uh, setup as far as butt being extended back, not allowing your tailbone to tuck under. Um, you can certainly also change your angles and make it more into a high lat row. So think of a deadlift row where you're standing and hinged and pulling. You can always walk your feet further forward. My head is now not under the bar, but I'm slightly back more. And I can still pull myself up. But notice now how my hips do not touch the ground. But now I'm doing more of an inverted row here to here. You can always make this into a rear delt row or just be a little bit more upright and do a rear delt row here using your bar. It's really all about angles. Where do you want to feel it as in relation to the rear delts, the lats, the serratus, okay? Uh, another exercise, if you have a therapeutic band, PT band, find tension in your band, you can always do a, oops, start down, as always, a pull over, working your serratus. So starting with tension in the band, you can always pull hands all the way down, keeping your rear delts touching the floor the entire time, but feeling the shoulder flexion. Your hands can come all the way overhead, so long as you have tension in the band the entire time. So in order for my hands to go all the way overhead, I have to keep a little bit wider tension or just grab more band in my hands. Another thing you can do is standing, coming to your hinge, excuse my butt facing away from you or facing you, but start with your lats lengthened and then being able to pull the hands however far back you can to side and then control releasing. Just remember, it's always about angles. So I usually have a nice wide grip going from here to here, but being able to minimize any kind of internal rotation and really just feel the neutral shoulder girdle as I go into flexion and extension of the arm mechanic, okay? Another one that you can do is using your ball, two last exercise. So I'm gonna lay face down on the ball. This is where the ball is gonna go pretty much under my belly button kind of region. Your knees can be down on the ground. I'm gonna have my hands wide, face down. Think of just like leaning face down on the ground, you can do WYs. So you can pull down elbows into side and then press out into a Y. You can do this with your knees extended. That just makes it more progression for your core and your legs. Or depending on your band, you can keep your elbows long and you can start kind of in the 11, 1, 10, and 2 region, keeping elbows straight and you can pull all the way down. See, I need more slack. Hands are wide and you can pull hands all the way down, pinky to thigh and then circle around. There's nine and three, 10 and two, 11 and one. So kind of mimicking your snow angel mechanics, feeling how the lats are lengthened as hands are overhead. We feel the depression in the scapula, hands pulling down by sides. 
but the entire time I'm maintaining a relative neutral shoulder girdle. So not too heavily internally rotated, not heavily externally retracted the entire time, just really kind of feeling the elevation, the depression, the natural mechanics of the shoulders as it should move and be overhead and down by side. Uh, so hopefully some of those tips give you some tools to the toolbox when we work out, just knowing how to further your game and uh, minimize any shoulder issues. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps.